Tonight in our Making Middle Georgia Great series, we introduce you to a Fort Valley woman who has spent the last eight years of her life as a volunteer tutor for children who live in the Tabor Heights Housing Authority. Daybreak's Kyle Warnke gets an inside look of the classroom with the teacher and her students. Welcome to the Tabor Heights Community Center. Today transformed into a classroom. We have tests to spell them and then we have tests over the definitions. But this isn't just another after school program for kids. The students here are part of a special collaboration between the Fort Valley Housing Authority. Most of these um, units are um, single parent homes. And the Peach County Family Connections Group. Since Tabor Heights is the targeted community, um, the after school program is held here in this building. Since the learners live nearby, within walking distance for all of the residents. <laughs> Students like Jaquavi and Avant have easy access to extra attention. Attention Angela Warren has freely volunteered for eight years now. This is something that needs to be done. Warren is also a resident at Tabor Heights. I see our children struggling. And a lot of say they bring it on the teacher. It's not the teacher's fault. It's our fault as parents and aunties and other relatives. She teaches reading, writing, and math. The different types of things to help the world, like the economy, resources, recycling. And her lessons go beyond those found in a book. The kids are getting along better. They share. She's been really key to this, you know, to the success of this program. I'm going to keep doing it as long as I have breath in my body. I'm going to keep doing it. In Fort Valley, Kyle Warnke, 41 NBC News. Each week, there's an average of about 20 kids who come to the after school program with Angela. The tutoring is set up to closely follow the guidelines of the Peach County school system.